this beautiful glitter. Good morning! Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. Get ready for my birthday lunch with my friend, client and friend. And I'm very excited because you guys are coming along. Um, and I realized I haven't done all these like get ready with me on YouTube for a while. So I thought I would just come in and chat and make it really chill and update you guys about my life. So let's go. Okay, I just showered. Usually the first step I like to do is exfoliate. And because I can't be using very harsh like salicylic acids now, I'm in my third trimester. And for those of you who don't know like what how you count the trimesters um basically every i mean the whole pregnancy is nine ten months right so the first three months first trimester second three months second trimester and last three to four months is the trimester so yeah anyway i'm using the pine needle pore pad from abi this one has like this embossed side which is a very gentle exfoliant so because I haven't been able to incorporate my salicylic acids or my AHA and my BHA, I haven't been able to use this. Just really waiting for the day I pop to go back to my drunk elephant. Uh, but yeah, this has been helping keep my skin clear. So at least it's a much more affordable option, safer option as well. And those of you with very sensitive skin, you can't use harsh acids try this one because it uses LHA and PHA. Both are very, very, very gentle. So yeah, I like to exfoliate, especially this side. Time just flew by. I mean, both in a good or bad way. Good because I honestly can't wait for baby to be here. And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't had the easiest pregnancy. Admitting it and having it come out of my mouth is a very big deal to me because I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to speak negative things. In general, even if I feel negatively, um, I find that by not letting it come out of my mouth, I'm kind of like saying, you have no foothold over me, you know? This negativity has no foothold over me, therefore I'm not going to speak about it. And it usually helps in helping me get past it fast, you know, because it's true. Like, there's nothing in this world that we can't conquer. There's nothing in this world that um, your mind isn't able to overcome. So that's why I always believe, oh, anyway, this is a new brand that I have been trying out for the past few months. It's called Dog Top. Um, I really like it. It's a vegan brand, so it's very, very clean and safe. As you can see, this is their toner. It's like a milky, antioxidant vegan toner. It's a milky texture, but it's very lightweight. So yeah, and therefore, you know, me admitting that this pregnancy has been tough, it's a big step for me. I mean, you guys know how much I love food. And Morning Singer has really robbed away the love for food for me at least in the first six months and typically when people get pregnant their morning sickness lasts for the first three months and it will slowly go away after but um for me it lasted till about the six months mark and i had a two weeks break where i felt great and i could eat anything i want without having to feel nauseous and then came acid reflux so right now i am two weeks into my acid reflux. <laughs> Typically, if I have a choice, I would go for something like soupy. Uh, I've been very into Chinese soups lately. Love, love, love Chinese soups. Um, or things like fish. Just not too greasy or not too heavy. Uh, but I always have to eat supper because being hungry makes you nauseous too. I know, right? <laughs> this is something that I recently added into my routine, Shiseido's Ultimune. I find that it helps with my elasticity of my skin and it's very gentle, so I like it. 
So I'm gonna finish the rest of my skincare and I'll be back. Okay, so I just added some oil and today I'm trying this. Okay, I'm not trying for the first time. This is my third time using it. But I'm so happy that Abit launched a physical sunscreen. It's called Comfort Sunblock. Uh, it has SPF 50 plus, PA4 pluses, so we're not compromising on the sun protection here. I didn't use moisturizer. I'm using this as my moisturizer because it is actually really, really moisturizing. You guys will see. But I did use a facial oil, so. This one uses zinc oxide, so it's very safe for all sensitive skin. Pregnant women, breastfeeding women, people who can't use chemical sunscreens, highly recommend this. And you don't actually have a white cast. In fact, it's a very nice like tone up effect. Just I love it. It doesn't have any smell. No smell at all. I'm gonna leave this to sit while I do my hair. Got myself a cup of Nestum. Because nowadays I really have to eat when I get out and when I sleep. <laughs> Mm. So I'm a bit conscious about the bigger sisters right now. Um, not sure if I should do like a half up, half down. I feel like a half up, half down is nice. Yeah, I'll do a half up, half down then. This is just water. Gel this side a little bit, it's a bit more neat. Got some gel. Hair done, and it took me about 10 minutes. I'm just prepping my lips. This is the mini Dior Edict. So that it can soften a little bit. Today I'm trying this. This is the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Yesterday I tried to use it for the first time just to see what works best and I found out that using fingers work best so I'm just gonna do it and come back and show you guys the results um, I think it's not beginners friendly but it is a very nice flawless finish kind of foundation so back to the topic on how I've been feeling and what I've been working on I've been working on myself a lot this past few days or the past few months if you guys haven't noticed, I have pretty much been quite quiet when it comes to the social settings. Like I try my best to be a bit more selective with the events that I go, the people that I hang out with. Um, because honestly, this pregnancy <laughs> drains me out a lot and I can't be my 100% best. And it bothers me a lot whenever I meet someone new for the first time and they don't see me at my best because I think that, you know, that's the first impression that, oh, Mong is just someone that is low energy, she's not who she is, you know, and it really can get into my head sometimes. So I know online, like, you know, everyone's just like, oh, she's really confident and all that. I'm not born confident. I was like born super insecure, especially because I had a lot of like acne issues, eczema issues growing up. And I always had this fear that people would catch me on a bad day and think that that is the real me. And that is very, very real in this social media world because we always, we often feel like we know somebody already just by watching their content. And when we meet them in person and think that you know, we have such high expectations of them um, and they don't match that expectations, then we will call them a phony or someone who was cheating us with her public, I mean, with her online persona and stuff like that. I've been very selective of all the people that I spend my energy on, things that I spend my energy on rather as well, because a lot of things these days, they can get me down and Hormones, let me tell you, they are very real and very, very, very scary. Like I mentioned, you know, I always believed that as long as my mind is strong, nothing can come between me and my goals. Uh, obviously, now that I've got like crazy amount of hormones just playing with my brains and my mind, um, I really can tell you that hormones are very, very true and pre 
postnatal depression, I think is very, very real because we can't control our thoughts. You know, we can't control where our mind is headed to. We can do it as an extent, but if I'm not conscious about it, I actually find myself like kind of going to a place where I would never, like the old me, would never, never, never allow myself to. There was one day I quarreled with Matt over something really, really tiny, and I mean like really tiny. It was just a normal argument, honestly, but I started having really, really dark thoughts. And that was so scary because, you know, I was like, okay, if you're going to be such a brat, you know, this shows that you're not going to be a good father, you're going to leave us um, when the baby is out. You know, I was really like shocked by my thoughts. And I actually felt very, 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 very sad and depressed. Like I felt heavy, like my mind was heavy, my heart was heavy. For two whole days, I was crying for no reason. Like the funny thing is, my consciousness tells me that I'm being very ridiculous, which I am. And that non-confrontational side of me, or the side that I always believe I'm strong enough to handle this on my own, also made me not want to speak out or seek help. So I was just in it by myself and I just felt like, the world doesn't care about me. <laughs> you know what was scary? During those two days, baby path didn't actually move. And, and that added so much to my stress levels that I was frantically Googling, I was this short of calling my gynae to go in emergency, you know, because I was like, oh my God, please baby, please move, please tell me that you're there, you know? And it's so scary because I actually Googled um, and it's true that when a mom is in distress, her baby feels it. And sometimes they stop moving because they're in the fight or flight mode with you. And that was when I was like, you know, this is how scary and real it is. Like whatever I feel, whatever I do, whatever I put in my body, it's not just me anymore. You know, it's not about uh, how it makes me feel but it also directly translates to how it makes my baby feel. So yeah, like it was such an eye-opening experience. Thank God, um, you know, I prayed really hard and I was like, God, please just help me snap out of this ridiculousness that I was feeling. And I managed to like with the thought of my baby in my mind, I was like, I really, really need to get off this like frame of mind. Can you imagine like that was my first experience into how scary this whole hormone thing can play out. I don't know if any mamas out there who are watching this, you have any similar experiences to share with me. Anyway, I'm just darkening my contour since we're doing the hair up today. So my birthday is in about a week and this time I honestly am not very focused. <laughs> I feel like 2022 is not a year for me. Um, it's the year for my baby because my mind is just on him all the time. Even if it's like my celebrations or if anyone wants to bring me out for lunch or dinner, I'm always constantly thinking like, what does he want to eat? <laughs> What can he eat, you know? Like, I've been pretty disciplined uh, with some food. Like, I have not touched sashimi at all. And I know it's very hard to actually believe that because I love, I'm such a big, like, food lover, right? I love, like, sashimi. And I'll, and it's not that it's, you can't. Like, a lot of Guyanese actually say you can. But I'm just not willing to take the risk. Um, yeah. Today's eyeshadow palette is this new Dior 1947 Miss Dior. Oh, this palette. Look at how pretty. I'm gonna go for a little like princessy vibe look. Just with this lightest shade as my base. Yeah, so I've been craving and eating wonton me a lot. Just 
Singaporean local food has been my go-to but I realized how not nutritious they can be because it's mostly like just carbs and very very little protein or almost no like vegetables at all unless we're talking about Thai fun. So if you think about it, wonton meat, right? It's just like a, a few measly pieces of chashu that barely makes up any protein. And it's a whole lot of noodles. And the vegetables are like, I don't even need to say that, like, non-existent. Fish soup is lacking vegetables. Chicken rice is lacking vegetables. And trying to figure out like a way to just get my protein, carbs, and fiber balance with hawker food, but it's just been quite tough, honestly. So that's why I eat Thai fun like almost every single day, but it's not the healthiest even also because uh, it's usually laden with lots of oil, lots of sugar, but I have not been able to cook, unfortunately. I've not stepped into my kitchen for the past seven months because I've been so nauseous and I can't even stand looking at the sink, much less touch anything. Like, you know, how when you cook, you have to wash and sometimes you have a lot of food remnants. I can't. And it's just been really tough because um, that also means that, you know, I wasn't, I have not been able to do things like cut fruits because I have to throw the peel away. It's very caught up, I know. It's very exaggerating, but unfortunately, um, I am not exaggerating over here. It's real. So any mamas had it as bad as me, let me know. There are many times I stepped into the kitchen and I had to run straight for the toilet. Yeah, it's that bad. And because I couldn't drink water, everyone was telling me you should try doing lemon in your water. I bought the lemons, but as I was cutting the lemons, I ran to the toilet. Um, and sometimes on some days I managed to make it far. I just managed to actually drink uh, the lemon water. Like I put it in my water bottle, but I always have an issue trying to clean the bottle because cleaning is really tough. <laughs> I know I'll find it funny once I look back, you know, once this is over. But for now, when you're in it, it's not funny at all. Look at this beautiful glitter. I'm gonna use my hands. Okay, so this is the base. I'm gonna remove my lips. I don't know which lipstick I should go for. Shu Uimura Sadaharu Aoki. This is in MG, MBG 954 Umi Muse. And I'll top it up with this Dior. Last but not least, just a bit of highlight. Earrings on. Perfume on. Let me show you my full outfit. Just real quick. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready with me and I'll see you guys in the next one.